What's up? This is Dean Money here from Juice Radio. You can listen to us at any time at GoJuiceRadio.com as well as on the free TuneIn app on your mobile phone. Just go and download TuneIn, then search for Juice Radio. You can listen to us there. Um, we have another Fresh Coast Face Off interview for you. Mike Drastic, our 46th winner in our contest, recently defeated Sam LaChow with his single, I Told You, which will be on his debut album. Um, I read earlier today that you went down to the Ronald McDonald charity. Um, what happened there? Yeah, actually, um, I was. we were going to do that. We went back to the Seattle Children's Hospital, but same kind of thing. Uh, there's a little girl there that uh, has cancer, so we were going down there. The Rough Riders and Bikers Fighting Cancer went down there to visit her and visit her mom and uh, just kind of offer some support, see what they need. We're going to try to help them out. April 1st, we actually have an event over at uh, Critters Leather in Bremerton, and all the guys are going to get together and uh, have a barbecue and an auction or raffle, all that kind of stuff to raise some money for her. So it's, it's uh, right along the lines of, you know, Sadie's fight. I've been helping with them, and then this is something separate, but it's the same kind of thing. So I like to get out and help with that kind of stuff. Yeah, you definitely strike me as a person who has a big heart, definitely. And you're very lighthearted humor. I always see it on your head. Facebook. I see you do a cheesy <laughs> shit right here. But um, this is such a contrast to your music. I mean, you were such a hard hitter, and you're, you're like pushing the metal genre with the hip-hop infusion. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's, what's the difference between Mike Drastic, the person, and Mike Drastic, the artist? Um, I think that you really hit it right there. Um, the regular Mike, I grew up, I was, you know, Nice kid, you know, try to be a nice guy. I was raised right, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, I got older, started to end up hanging on the streets, doing that kind of stuff, doing you know, things I shouldn't have got into. Uh, I was just a little tiny guy, and then I grew up to the military, boom, got all big. So my character and my physical stature, they, they are a reflection of each other. And that's kind of where I was in my music. Like, I was, I had a lot to say. I was so angry, and I had a lot of grit behind it. Once I discovered who I was and what my sound needed to be, but the heart was still there to help people, you know. I, I kind of... I guess I kind of look at myself like uh, I try to be the nice guy, the good guy, the, the guy with the white hat, but I'm not really wearing white. I'm, I'm decked out in black. Yeah. And it's kind of like if somebody wants to get ridiculous, you know, uh, if I have to help somebody be there for them, whether it be someone accosting somebody or it be a little kid with a disease, the same thing. If something is coming at that person, I want to be there to help, you know. So there's that. And then with the music, I just I like to bring it, you know, rough, rugged, raw, real, just in people's faces so yeah um you mentioned um that you definitely have a motorcycle how long have you been riding i've been riding about three years now and then you um you ride with a crew called the rough fighters is this um do they have any associations with you know dmx and yeah that's Swiss that's, that's, who, that's who it started out with dmx you know, you know uh swiss beast um the locks all those guys have and, you uh, met them personally or no not yet um getting closer every day but uh <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably would have met DMX last night or the yeah. show, but I had to, yeah. I had to work, you know. But uh, yeah, you know, it's, that's how it started. And a lot of them in New York, they, they had bikes, they got into bikes. And so right. it just grew into this whole thing. There's now 55,000 Rough Riders around the world. Wow. So, and these are different chapters, right? Different chapters. They have, we have, you know, the bike division, which is the most well-known, mm -hmm. uh, the corporate entertainment, which is, you know, uh, the DMX and all that. They have a uh, car and truck division, you know, real yeah. show cars. They have dog breeding. They also have Built Full War, which is our new right. uh, like MMA branch for fighting. So they branch out, but what we're known for is bikes. So, yeah. When you when you ride, I mean, where do you go? I mean, this is like a whole completely different world to me. You know, this suburban kid. This yeah. guy's he's, this guy's driving around, you know, on his hog and shit. I mean, That's, where do you go? That was the thing too. I always tell her like I'm the first biker rapper. And other people may like claim to that later, like, no, it was me, but I don't know about them. So <laughs> as far as I know, I'm the first one. Like, you know, a lot a lot of dudes on the streets will ride on the crash rockets and stuff like that. I'm the first one who rides up on a Harley S type bike. Right. And I like that contrast. But when we ride, man, it's like if we're not riding to a specific event and I'm just riding, it's a nice day out. Uh, I just go wherever. I don't really pick a place or say I'm gonna go in this general direction. And uh, you know, riding bikes, man, was like it's, it's the second best thing for me next to music. That's why I say you see me talk about music and motorcycles. If it ain't about music or motorcycles, don't talk to me right now. Because you know? <laughs> it's just like, like I'm in that mode right now. You know, I'm almost done with the album, but I have some other stuff going on. Busy. It's like I just want to shut myself down for a minute. So if it's not about music business or getting on the bike and riding, you know. And, and, it's great, man, because once I get on the bike, I always stress. I challenge anybody who rides a bike to say, go ride for 30, 45 minutes or an hour 
and go think about your problems while you ride. I guarantee 98% of those people come back and go, first 20 minutes, man, I couldn't think about none of that stuff. I just rode. Well, so that's assuming that they were actually able to ride it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you get somebody to ride a bike and, you know, within 20, 30 minutes, man, they're going to be like, Psh, I couldn't even think about it, bro. Mm -hmm. I just, it flew off my back. And that's what's great about it. It gives me a chance to kind of release and breathe. And, you know, not only is there the social tightness that we have with each other right. in that community, but uh, I mean, it's just, it's a freaking thing. So. Speaking yeah. of, um, like, you know, getting around, you performed at some pretty um, bizarre locations around <laughs> the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, where? Uh, you know, I've done, obviously, the Washington area, uh, a little bit in California when I was down there. Uh, did a couple of impromptu performances in Saudi and one in Italy, which was real cool. I was, uh, you know, kept bugging the DJ one time, like, let me get on stage, man, let me get on stage. It took me like three weeks to get back to that dude. Get on stage, dude, you know? So he let me on stage and we rocked the house and that was cool. So I like to be able to just throw that on my little bio and resume. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, Canada, used to do Canada a lot. Mm -hmm. We were doing stuff with Sir Mix a lot. I mean, to all the Canadian officials watching, we never technically perform because that would require a license. But you know, <laughs> I'm saying hypothetically speaking, if we were to perform, that's where we would have gone with Sir right. Mix Lawton back in the day. Right, right. But that was cool. That was a lot of fun. So that was before I took my little hiatus and did my recent comeback that everybody's known me for now. So what what was the um, point for the whole hiatus thing? I mean, you decided to just stop. You know, I feel like in music, I would have been a lot farther than I am right now. It's just as I tell people around me, they know I say, "quote unquote," life happened. It just right. sometimes life just happens. Yeah. You know, you're on a path and you're trying to get something done. You got a goal, but just finances or something happens. You have you know a crash of some kind, and just life happens. So that's yeah, kind of what it know. was. And I was it was all a learning process for me as a musician and trying to figure out who I was and what my sound needed to be and understanding the business side of it, which I was really ignorant on. I just want to just want to just go rap. Let's just go rap. Or, you know, right, forget right. the contracts and all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is cool if you're doing it for a hobby or something. Yeah. You're real about it. And so when all that came down. A lot of me for a lot of it for me was money, and uh, you know I had to take a moment, just work for a while, find out a little bit more who I was, and then boom, I hooked up the right people now and came back yeah. and got signed and all that. So it's like now it's a serious push. So I have 100% yeah. confidence in my sound and who I am and what I want to be and what I want to do now. So yeah, definitely, but, definitely. And speaking of moving forward, you know, having uh, already with the comeback and all that, you got a debut album on the way. Mm -hmm. What else do you got coming up with you in the future? Uh, right now, I got a lot going on. We got the debut album coming out finally after like you know forty thousand years, <laughs> which is cool. It's like we're, we're almost done, and the second one I'm already getting ready to work on. I can tell it's going to be like ten times faster for the second one out. Yeah, cool. yes. I got that one. Uh, getting the props for the photo shoot for that right now. I'm gonna announce right here what the name of the album is. I haven't said it before. Oh actually, shit, we got an exclusive. The album is gonna be called Outspoken. So okay. that's what I'm known for. So All right. people on Facebook are like, dude, why are you asking for a megaphone? I'm like, it's for the album cover shoot. <laughs> now they know why. So, but we got that. We got the Working Class Artist Tour coming up March 31st. I got a show with Reckless and Brian King, DGK, March 30th. Um, Got some other things coming up, hosting the Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is Rap Battle and Haley's and Everett. Okay. Uh, so, and there's a lot more coming up. It's just, it's just coming really fast and it's cool. Uh, I love it. So, yeah. uh, and doing the stuff with the Rough Riders and all that going on. So, yeah, where, where can um, the people keep up with all this stuff going down? Outspoken, um, the uh, rap battle that you're going to be hosting, all these shows. Where can they go on the net to find out about all this? Uh, if you ever want to look me up, I'm pretty technological and social media conscious. As soon as new something new comes out, boom, I secure Mike Drastic. But it's always the best bet. Go to MikeDrastic.com. That's got all the links okay. and all. It's the bridge to everything else. So mm -hmm. uh, I just have my guy Mikey Malone redesign the site. So we've got that. I'm going to add some new content and put the videos and all that that are coming up. So uh, the MikeDrastic.com has all the little social links and buttons, you know, standard there. So uh, that's just the easiest thing to remember. So all right, cool. Thanks for coming through, Mike Jackson. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. This so. is Team Money right here. It's been another Fresh Coast Space Off interview. Remember, you can vote in our Fresh Coast Space Off every single week on the Juice Radio page. Remember, it's at gojuiceradio.com. It's on the right side of the page in the poll. You can vote uh, only one time, but you can vote. Um, you have the opportunity to vote anytime during the week. Um, some of your browsers may be messed up. Um, mine actually is. I have to go to the bottom of the page to vote. The so bottom. If you don't see it on the right, go on the bottom. Um, 
I haven't mentioned these in a while. This is our um, Fresh Coast. I support the Fresh Coast song. Um, <laughs> I support the Fresh Coast wristbands. We sell these for five bucks. You can actually buy these right on the store on the website. Just go on the menu bar and on the right side of the menu on the top, it says store. Go there. You can buy it for five bucks or get it in person so you don't have to pay for shipping and handling. Get a bracelet. There you go. Team Money right here. Peace out. Big white beats.